Hi, this is Dale, and I haven't been uh, recording in a while, so let's uh, go over uh, this what I call a joystick. Now, oh, wait a minute. Let's get the... As you can see, the face... Let me move things around a little bit here, zoom out a little bit. Okay, here we go. I have a joystick set up. And it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight actions. And a, it's pretty good and pretty accurate. A, one of the problems you, you have when you're trying to do, um, like, controlling everything at once, to do, you know, head turns like this, is you get a lot of jitter because the math is, is being fights with each other. You know, one bone fights with another. So how do I get this joystick rigged? Okay. Well, let me go up in here into the bones and show all bones. And basically, what it's doing is, is that I have four bones. And each of the bones has two smart actions. Let's take a look at B1 for a moment. So what you do here is B1... Its action is like that, only on the first frame. And what's going on here is, is that when I move this for the rotation, okay, I press shift, and it gives a nice 45 degree rotation. So, and on its other action, as you can see, down here where the, uh, the point motion is, and I got another nice 45, and if you go to B4, which should be, actually be 2, but, you know, I got a nice 45 on it, and I got the point motion back down. Now, the thing what I did was, and the, one of the things I did was, let me go back to the main line for a second, and all the bones are the same length. Okay? It doesn't look like it. And the fact is, is I got a sneaking suspicion that the bone right there, this one here, is not the same length as everybody else. Let me take a look. Okay, and the way you do that is go over here and the position and the length. And the length's not showing up because I'm not on frame zero. So the length in the length, in the length, in the length, they're all the same length. They're all the same distance apart because I use the grid, and they're all on this grid, and they're all so many spaces away apart. Let's get rid of the grid. And, of course, so uh, the other thing it is, is like even the motion here, so let's go back into the point motion. Now what I did was, for this position here, now the next bone, it's, co it's copied. So if you were to look at the positions, ah, they're not the same. They're supposed to be the same. So what we're going to do is, is I'm going to copy this, control copy. And I'm going to go Control V. Then I'm going to take this one and go Control Copy. And I'm going to go back up here and do Control V. So then now this bone, the positions are the same. And see, it doesn't move at all. And I'm going to take a look at this one and this one. They shouldn't move. And, and if you look at the numbers, they're supposed to be the same. They're not. But anyway, and so I can go control copy, control paste. I got a control paste. And I'm going to do this one this time. Control copy. 
and control paste. So anyway, let me go back into the main line. So now I'm back in the main line and if I want to go back to the bone layer and if I move the bone layer on layer zero, it's not going to do much. Okay, now here's the problem you run into. This is like the hang. It's hard to control the bone. If you let go like right here, this bone is on top of it. So, of course, what you do is, is you go around and you press shift. And you come off, you know, on frame zero and go you select all these bones and you hide the selected bubble. I selected everything. So I'm going to undo that. Show all bones. Shift. And bones. Hide selected bones. And now all I have is the pin bone with no bone track, of course. It's able to manipulate like a joystick. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Come on.